I have received many questions uh, from my readers. Does TEPCO has the capacity to handle this magnitude of disasters or not? I do not know. But I also heard from inside the story in Japan that TEPCO executive also believe that TEPCO alone cannot handle this magnitude of disasters. Also, I wrote a letter to Secretary General Ban Ki-moon urging him to establish independent international assessment team composed of the nuclear scientists, geologists, engineering structure, because we are laymen confused by so many scientists saying all the different stories. And I mentioned to former Prime Minister Hatoyama, I only believe in what Annie said, what Helen uh, Katikot said. So, Annie, what do you think of this uh, first question is, my suggestion is to establish internationally independent assessment team to look at totality of picture of the problem we face now at the Fukushima? I think it's a great idea. I think we definitely need an international team of really independent experts to go in and outline um, a logical plan to, um, uh, to minimize the exposure to the Japanese people moving forward. The IAEA, International Atomic Energy Agency, um, claims to be that independent agency because it's an arm of the UN. But if you look at the charter, article number two of their charter, is to promote nuclear power. Now, to my way of thinking, that means you're not independent. The, the team of individuals has to be respected by the people of Japan who are going to have to, one, live with the radiation, and two, have to clean up after this. Um, and so to rely on a group who's trying to promote nuclear power seems to me to be uh, counterproductive. So an international team of experts going in and laying out a plan going forward um, to be implemented by somebody other than Tokyo Electric, I think is critical. The, the other piece of that is that if, the, um, uh, if that plan is put in place and a, and a large engineering firm is put in to replace Tokyo Electric, the independent team should remain as an overseer of the, um, of the large international um, engineering organization because the trust of the people in Japan can't be on a company that uh, also builds nuclear power plants. It would have to be on that independent expert team. That independent expert team could also put pressure on the nation of Japan's government to spend the money that's needed to solve this problem. I think what we have right now is that the uh, Japanese government isn't willing to give Tokyo Electric any more money and Tokyo Electric then is trying to um, decontaminate the, the, the site on a, uh, on a budget that's not big enough. So if, there, if that international team could put pressure on the contractor to do the job right and also represent to the people of Japan the true cost of the cleanup, I think that would solve the two biggest problems facing the Daiichi site.